Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I'm going to make some tags for my future secret garden journal. Um, they're just plain on the back just for some journaling or I might collage them at the time when I'm putting them in the journal depending on where they're going to be going. So they're just, um, that's vellum and a doily, a sticker and a fussy cut bird. So I've made these three and some stitching, um, which went a bit wonky on this one, but that's okay. I quite like the look of that. Um, yeah, so we'll make one together and I'll show you exactly what I did um, to, to do these. Right, so the vellum I used is from this pack. Um, it's vellum, paper stash vellum wallflower can you see that okay so, yeah wallflower and i've got this sheet here which you can see i've already started using we'll put the vellum out the way there and i've got just a plain manila tag i've got my paper doily which is the other half of the one i used for one of the other tags um, I've got my little sticker, which is from this pack, which came from Amazon. Um, it doesn't have a name on it, but it was a pack of different, these are the um, kind of botanical ones, and there was um, mushrooms, and there was um, planets and things. So I'm sure if you searched for postage stamp stickers, you would find these uh, stickers. So I've picked out this one because this fussy cut bird, which is just from a book of birds, um, I thought matched quite well with the little bits of yellow and whatnot and um, the, the doily. So what we'll do is we'll find a piece of vellum first that's going to be nice. Um, at the back, maybe, maybe that piece, I think, will do, this piece here is quite nice as well, yes I think we'll just stick with that piece, so we will just get our glue stick, and cover the tag with the glue and then pop it on the vellum oh, this, this one and just go right up to the edge where it was cut before and then that means we only need to cut the edges. So we'll just cut this was easy. Just put that piece of vellum away. So that's that and we need to repunch the hole. So we'll just repunch that. There we are. So the next stage would be to get our little piece of doily on. So I'm going to stick with my usual rule. Now, if it's facing that way then the other things go that face that way. <laughs> I'm thinking it looks better. See if we put it this way. Hmm. 
Hmm, actually that works okay. Well, you know, to be honest, I don't think it matters here because it's filling up the full, um, I think it is better that way, it's filling up the full uh, page anyway. Yeah, let's do it that way. What, other, what ones have I got? I've got one that way. That means I'll have three facing that way. Doesn't matter. They'll all be in different pages anyway. And then we'll put this just tucked under there. Like that. So we'll put the sticker on first because that's the bottom layer. So let's try and get the backing. Oh, oh first time. <laughs> I think if you don't get it first time, then it's a tricky business. So we'll stick her down. Then we'll bring Sticky Magazine in. And I'm going to be stitching round, so I'm not going to put my glue stick up the edge of my doily. Because I don't want that to be all gungy through my machine. Somebody left a comment, I think it might have been on Facebook actually, asking if the needle got stuck in the glue stick. Well, it hasn't so far, but... I am quite careful. Let's just rub the glue off the back. And then we will glue on our little bird. I don't know what kind of bird this is. I should have paid attention to the book when I was cutting it out. Maybe it will just sit like that. At a jaunty angle. There we are. So, finishing touches for this one is a little bit of seam binding through the top and a little sticker. So, I've just put on little numbers. There's that one there and there's that one there. I know it's just tiny, but I think it just makes just a nice little touch. So we'll look for a number. Here's how many pieces. These are a bit big. One one five, two five six and a half. <laughs> well, there's number forty two, and it's got N O for number. So that'll do. And we'll just put it. I think we'll just add it to the bottom there overlapping. You see that? Mm -hmm. And the other thing is the seam binding. So we'll just cut a little bit of that off. Not seam binding. What is this seam binding? What's it called? This kind of vintagey ribbon. Now through from the back I think works maybe better. I like the look. Is it through from the back or is it through from the front? <laughs> I'll soon know because I can tell the way that it turns out which way I prefer. Is that the same as the other ones? Yes it is. So there we are. And let's do a little rough up of the edges. Get some frayed bits. There we are. And on this piece too. That just makes it look a little bit older. Those bits are maybe a wee bit longer than the other ones. 
No, it's fine. Right, and the only other thing that I did was I used my stamps. Now, it turned out okay on that one. And that one's reasonably okay. But this one went a bit... A bit blurred. I don't know why that should be different. Maybe I leaned harder. Maybe that's the secret. And I know it's on vellum, and so you've got to give it a bit of a blast with the heat gun or let it dry before you touch it but I'm going to still go for it because I think it does add even although that's a little bit blurred and not what I would really want so we've got original love and I made this so what will we do I think we'll have another I made Will we have another I made this? I think we will. Or work of art. No, let's do an I made this. And I just won't lean too hard. Oh no, wait a minute. I've still to stitch round. Let me do the stitching first because I don't want that ink all over the place. So I'm going to stitch round like I did with these ones and I'll be back in a sec. Okay that's it stitched round. I had to obviously to take the ribbon back off and then put it back on but that wasn't a big deal and um, yeah so let's do some stamping. I think I already put ink on that but we'll just give it another little dab. And I'm just going to go there. Nice finishing touch. So there we have it. Four tags for the secret garden, which is coming. I keep saying it's coming soon, but it might be a week or two yet. I don't know yet quite I'm still prepping some quite a lot of things because I want to once I start it be able to get through it fairly quickly but enjoy it at the same time so yeah so that's my four tags today I hope you enjoyed that if you did a little thumbs up and um, take care and I'll see you next time bye for now